Turkey has introduced a groundbreaking air defense system valued at $50 billion, directly challenging the dominance of Israel's Iron Dome and capturing attention from global powers, especially the U.S. This video will also highlight Turkey's latest advanced military innovations. In August 2024, at the International Defense Industry Fair in Istanbul, Turkey unveiled an ambitious new air defense concept called the Steel Dome, Kalik Kuba. Aimed at competing with Israel's renowned Iron Dome, the Steel Dome represents Turkey's latest effort to strengthen its defense capabilities amidst growing regional security challenges. The system is being developed by leading Turkish defense companies, including Azelsan and Roketsan, both of which have extensive experience in cutting-edge military technology. Unlike conventional defense systems, the Steel Dome is designed to integrate a wide range of technologies to create a robust and adaptable defense network. Central to its effectiveness is its ability to utilize network-centric technologies and artificial intelligence. This allows the system to process vast amounts of data in real time, helping it accurately identify and neutralize various threats, including rockets, missiles, drones, and even artillery fire. The integration of AI enables rapid response times and smarter targeting, improving the system's overall efficiency in protecting key infrastructure and urban areas. Although still in the conceptual stage, the Steel Dome has already attracted international attention. Turkey's defense industry has been expanding its reach in recent years, with significant growth in exports to countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. The Steel Dome is expected to follow this trend, with the potential for foreign sales and international collaboration once it becomes operational. This aligns with Turkey's broader goals of achieving self-sufficiency in defense production and reducing reliance on foreign imports. As Turkey continues to invest in its defense industry, the Steel Dome stands out as a symbol of the country's ambitions to become a major player in the global defense market. If successful, it could transform Turkey's ability to defend against modern threats while also positioning Turkish defense firms as leaders in the development of advanced missile defense systems. Turkey's Anka-3, an advanced jet-powered drone developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, represents a significant step in Turkey's unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, evolution. Anka-3 is a stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for high-end reconnaissance, combat, and intelligence gathering missions. Its key features include a low observable design that enhances its stealth capabilities, making it ideal for operations in contested environments. Recent updates have focused on refining the drone's aerodynamic shape to minimize radar visibility, significantly improving its range, speed, and payload capabilities. The Anka-3 is expected to support a wide variety of missions, ranging from intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to air-to-ground strikes and potentially electronic warfare operations. This advanced drone is also designed to carry a diverse range of munitions, giving it exceptional flexibility in different combat scenarios and making it a versatile asset on the battlefield. The Anka-3 builds on Turkey's growing expertise and experience in UAV development, following the notable success of drones like the Bayraktar TB2, which has seen widespread use in various conflict zones around the world. With its enhanced stealth features and jet propulsion system, the Anka-3 represents a more sophisticated and advanced class of UAVs, enabling Turkey to compete on a global scale with leading drone-producing nations. This progression marks a significant step forward in Turkey's defense capabilities and technological advancements in unmanned aerial systems. The Bayraktar Akinci, developed by Turkish aerospace company Baykar, is a cutting-edge unmanned combat aerial vehicle that represents a significant leap in drone technology. Designed to perform a wide array of tasks, the Akinci is known for its versatility, long endurance, and ability to carry a variety of advanced weaponry. This Yukavi is a crucial asset in modern warfare due to its capability to operate at high altitudes and its proficiency in both intelligence gathering and combat roles. One of the standout features of the Akinci is its ability to operate at altitudes of up to 40,000 feet, which significantly expands its operational scope. This high altitude capability, combined with its endurance of over 24 hours, 
allows the drone to undertake prolonged missions without the need for frequent refueling. This endurance is critical for persistent surveillance, intelligence collection, and executing strategic strikes deep into enemy territory. Songar is a low-altitude, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UAEV, developed by Asis Guard for the Turkish Armed Forces. It includes a Quadrator UAEV, a ground control station, and ground support equipment. It operates in both autonomous and manual flight modes, featuring route planning, autonomous flight, and autonomous return to base in critical battery charge level and data link disconnection situations. It can transmit telemetry data and images simultaneously. Songar has an operational range of approximately 10 kilometers and is equipped with both daylight and infrared cameras. It is fitted with several built-in weapons and can remotely destroy targets. The maximum takeoff weight when fully equipped and armed is 45 kilograms. It operates at a height of 400 meters above ground level and a maximum elevation of 2.8 kilometers above mean sea level. The drone is dust resistant, complying with the IP67 standard and has GPS and global navigation satellite system compatible navigation capability. This system is advantageous because it is low cost, customizable, easy to use, lightweight, and portable by personnel across multiple units. The first Songar drone was delivered to the Turkish Armed Forces in 2020 and integrated into a tactical 4x4-wheeled armored fighting vehicle. In November 2021, it was announced that Songar was being exported to two countries. Songar includes an automatic gun stabilizer, recoil damping, and a tiltable barrel. It features a 10x magnification pilot camera, a gun camera, and a ground control station. The drone can continue its mission with a quickly changeable magazine, requiring no special intervention. Simultaneous missions can be performed with one or multiple drones. The drone conducts aerial reconnaissance, destroys targets, performs post-operative damage assessments, and transmits real-time images. In March 2022, a Songar drone with a laser-guided mini-missile system was tested. It can fire six mini-missiles developed by Troy Technology. Intended for use in cross-border and residential areas, the missiles are launched from 550 mm long, single-use tubes. Songar with mini-missiles is used to destroy fixed targets, such as unarmored and lightly armored vehicles, buildings, and small structures. The Kargu-2 is a quadcopter drone built by the Turkish company STM. It uses machine learning algorithms embedded on the platform, enabling it to operate autonomously as well as manually. Unlike the Bayraktar TB-2, the Kargu-2 is designed as an anti-personnel weapon capable of selecting and engaging human targets based on machine learning object classification. Although various ammunition options are available, the Kargu-2 detonates an explosive charge close to the target, minimizing collateral damage. Due to these characteristics, humanitarian concerns should focus on the drone's ability to distinguish legitimate military targets from protected civilians and direct its attacks accordingly. The technical difficulties of proportionality assessments when civilian collateral damage is expected are irrelevant unless the Kargu-2 is deployed in heavily populated civilian areas. Weapons that cannot make this distinction or limit their attack effects are already prohibited under customary international law. Commanders and operators must do everything feasible to verify that targets are legitimate military objectives and cancel or suspend an attack if it becomes apparent that the target is not a military objective. The drone's machine learning based object classification using real-time image processing may help meet the distinction requirement. This is especially true if the system is trained to recognize features common among legitimate military targets, such as uniforms and other visual indicators of military affiliation. The Kalkin Spy Drone is a state-of-the-art surveillance and reconnaissance drone developed by Turkey. Designed for intelligence gathering missions, the Kalkin Drone represents a significant advancement in Turkey's unmanned aerial vehicle capabilities. Its primary role is to perform surveillance and reconnaissance missions over various terrains, providing real-time data to military commanders. The Kalkan is equipped with high-resolution cameras, infrared sensors, and advanced electronic warfare capabilities. 
allowing it to detect and track enemy movements from a significant distance. One of its standout features is its low observability, designed to reduce its radar cross-section and heat signature, making it highly stealthy and difficult to detect. In addition to its primary surveillance role, the Kalkin spy drone can be equipped with a variety of payloads to suit different mission profiles. The drone's endurance and range are optimized for long-duration missions, allowing it to remain airborne for extended periods, covering vast operational areas without needing frequent refueling or recharging. The ZMA-15 is an advanced armored combat vehicle designed to perform a range of battlefield roles. Developed by Turkish manufacturer FNSS, the ZMA-15 is a multi-purpose tracked vehicle often classified as an Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, or IFV. It combines agility, firepower, and protection to provide Turkish armed forces with a versatile platform for transporting troops and engaging enemy positions. One of its primary advantages is its modular design, which allows for customization based on mission needs, making it a flexible asset in both conventional and asymmetric warfare scenarios. Armed with a range of weaponry, the ZMA-15 can be fitted with a 25mm autocannon and even anti-tank guided missile systems, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. Advanced fire control systems and night vision capabilities ensure operational effectiveness in various environments. The ZMA-15's armor is constructed to withstand small arms fire, shell splinters, and certain anti-personnel threats, while maintaining the mobility needed to support frontline operations. The vehicle can carry up to 10 fully equipped soldiers, making it a reliable troop carrier. The Bayraktar TB3 is an advanced UAV developed by the Turkish company Baykar, following the success of its predecessor, the Bayraktar TB2. With a folding wing design, the TB3 is tailored for naval operations, enabling it to launch from short runways or ship decks, enhancing Turkey's maritime capabilities. The TB3 features a wingspan of approximately 14 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of around 1,450 kilograms. The UAV is powered by a single turboprop engine, which allows it to achieve a maximum speed of 300 kilometers an hour. The TB3 is designed to carry a payload of up to 280 kilograms, which includes advanced sensors, electro-optical infrared cameras, synthetic aperture radar, and a variety of precision-guided munitions. The TB3 can operate at an altitude of up to 30,000 feet and has an endurance of more than 24 hours, making it suitable for long-duration missions. The UAV is capable of conducting a wide range of missions, including intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and precision strikes against ground and sea targets. The TB3 incorporates advanced avionics, autonomous flight capabilities, and AI for improved navigation targeting, and situational awareness. The UAV's deployment on the TCG Anadolu will enable Turkey to conduct UAV operations far from its mainland, providing strategic flexibility and extending its operational reach in the Mediterranean, Aegean, and Black Sea. Otokar's Tulpar Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, is a versatile and heavily armed vehicle designed to complement main battle tanks, like the Altay, on the battlefield. Unlike traditional IFVs, the Tulpar is built with a modular design that supports various combat roles, making it adaptable for a wide range of missions. One of the key features of the Tulpar is its armament flexibility. In its standard configuration, the Tulpar is equipped with a 30mm autocannon and a 7mm coaxial machine gun, allowing it to engage both infantry and lightly armored targets. Additionally, anti-tank guided missile launchers can be integrated, enhancing its capability to counter armored threats. Recent iterations have explored arming the Tulpar with a 120mm gun, effectively turning it into a light tank, or tank destroyer, capable of taking on heavier armored vehicles. This blurring of categories demonstrates Autocar's commitment to providing versatile solutions that can adapt to changing battlefield requirements. It offers all-around protection against small arms fire, artillery fragments, and certain anti-tank projectiles, while its advanced active protection system can intercept and neutralize incoming threats like anti-tank missiles. 
The T-129 Atak is a versatile attack helicopter developed jointly by Turkish Aerospace Industries and Leonardo Helicopters. This twin-engine, multi-role helicopter is designed for both attack and reconnaissance missions, capable of operating in a variety of terrains and environmental conditions. The T-129 is equipped with advanced avionics, weapon systems, and mission equipment, making it highly effective in counterterrorism operations and conventional warfare scenarios. It can perform a range of missions, from close air support and deep strike to armed reconnaissance and anti-tank warfare. Its advanced targeting systems, including a helmet-mounted display, provide pilots with enhanced situational awareness and precision strike capabilities, making it a formidable force multiplier on the battlefield. In addition to its combat capabilities, the T-129 features advanced electronic warfare systems designed to increase survivability in hostile environments. The Bayraktar Kizilelma is an advanced, unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Baykar, a leading Turkish defense company. The Kizilelma is designed with a low radar cross-section to enhance its stealth capabilities, making it difficult to detect by enemy radar systems. It is equipped with a turbofan engine capable of achieving supersonic speeds, which provides both a tactical advantage in terms of speed and the ability to evade enemy air defenses. The drone is built to perform a wide range of missions, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, electronic warfare, and ISR missions. Kizilelma is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics and sensors, including an active electronically scanned array radar, which provides superior target detection and tracking capabilities. The integration of artificial intelligence systems enables advanced autonomous flight operations, such as target acquisition, navigation, and combat engagement, without requiring constant input from human operators. One of the distinguishing features of the Kizilelma is its capability to operate from aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. The Khan is Turkey's first indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet, marking a significant milestone in the country's aerospace and defense industry. The Khan is designed to incorporate advanced technologies that position it as a formidable asset in modern air warfare. Among its most notable features are its stealth capabilities, achieved through advanced design techniques that reduce its radar cross-section and improve its survivability in hostile environments. A key aspect of the Khan fighter jet is its emphasis on artificial intelligence technologies. These include sensor fusion, which allows the aircraft to integrate data from multiple sensors to provide a comprehensive situational awareness to the pilot. Advanced data links enable seamless communication and data exchange with other aircraft and ground units, enhancing coordination and mission effectiveness. The potential integration of autonomous combat capabilities represents a significant step forward in AI development enabling the jet to make real-time decisions in complex combat scenarios without human intervention. The PARS-3 is an advanced multi-wheeled armored vehicle family developed by FNSS, designed to meet the needs of modern military forces. PARS-3 is renowned for its high mobility, superior protection, and modularity, allowing it to be customized for a wide range of missions, including reconnaissance, troop transport, and combat support. The PARS-3 is equipped with a powerful engine, all-wheel drive, and an independent suspension system, which gives it exceptional performance across various terrains, from deserts to urban environments. Its amphibious capability further enhances its operational flexibility, allowing it to participate in river crossing and amphibious assault missions. Inside, the PARS-3 offers a spacious and ergonomically designed cabin that can accommodate up to 12 personnel, depending on configuration. Its turret can be equipped with various weapon systems, including machine guns, automatic cannons, and anti-tank guided missiles, providing substantial firepower to support troops in combat. The PARS-3 has been exported to several countries, solidifying its reputation as a reliable and versatile armored vehicle suitable for a wide range of military operations. The Herjet is a new generation light combat aircraft an advanced jet trainer developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. While primarily designed as a trainer aircraft, the Herjet is also intended for combat roles, including close air support, air policing, and counterinsurgency operations. 
the aircraft's design philosophy emphasizes versatility and adaptability, allowing it to serve multiple roles across various mission profiles. It features a modern airframe with advanced aerodynamics and a high-performance turbofan engine, providing excellent maneuverability and speed. The Herjet integrates several advanced technologies that could include AI components. These technologies enhance situational awareness and decision-making, providing pilots with real-time data and analytics to optimize mission outcomes. The Herjet is expected to play a key role in Turkey's Air Force, serving both as a trainer for future pilots and as a light combat aircraft capable of performing a range of missions. The Autocar Cobra II is a highly versatile infantry mobility vehicle, widely utilized for various military and paramilitary operations. Known for its adaptability, the Cobra II is primarily designed as a light armored vehicle capable of transporting troops in diverse combat environments. It is an upgraded version of the original Cobra, featuring better armor, improved electronics, and enhanced firepower options. This vehicle has seen international deployment, most notably by the Ukrainian Special Forces Unit Kraken, underlining its combat effectiveness even outside Turkey. Designed for mobility, the Cobra II features a powerful engine and all-wheel drive, allowing it to navigate tough terrains, including urban environments, deserts, and mountainous regions. Its armor is modular, providing flexibility for different threat levels. The vehicle is resistant to small arms fire and shrapnel, and can be fitted with additional armor kits to increase its protection against IEDs and landmines. The Cobra II's V-shaped hull design enhances survivability by deflecting blasts away from the vehicle, making it a reliable choice in conflict zones with high IED threats. The vehicle also supports remote-controlled weapon stations, enabling safer engagement of targets. Its advanced communication systems make it an integral part of network-centric operations, allowing for real-time coordination with other units. The vehicle's success in international markets highlights Turkey's capability in producing reliable and cost-effective armored vehicles. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and put notifications on to stay updated on everything related to AI, robotics, and military technology.